This week we read about the story of Miriam speaking slander about her brother Moshe and receiving the skin disease called Saras. What's very bizarre is that in Parshas Kisavo we read that there's a special mitzvah every single day to remember what God did to Miriam in the desert. How strange, how bizarre. Miriam, because of one slip of her tongue, is remembered as the poster child for all future generations for slander. That doesn't make too much sense. What kind of punishment is that? I heard a very novel answer from a relatable lamb on Torah.org. He explains, this wasn't a punishment, this was a reward. The Talmud teaches, whenever we sin, when we make mistakes, the greatest affront, the greatest violation can be turned into a source of merit for us. How? If we repent out of love for God. And he gives a beautiful analogy. Imagine a king has a beautiful diamond, a perfect diamond, it's pristine, and all of a sudden one day he's showing it off, and it drops. And there's a, and there's a big scratch on the diamond, and the king's upset, and he hires the greatest jewelers to come and fix it. And nobody can fix it. And finally, one clever craftsman comes and he has an idea. Okay, it's a permanent scratch, but I have an idea. He draws a couple of petals and he draws a rose on top and he, div- and he creates a flower on the diamond and the king is so happy. Miriam repented to God after speaking of Lashon Hara. Out of true, she had true love for God, genuine repentance. She took her mistake and turned it into a bed of roses. How? Because for all future generations, there's a mitzvah which is associated for Miriam. That whenever anybody stops and thinks and says, I'm not going to speak Lashon Hara, I'm not going to gossip, Miriam gains merit for that. Whenever anyone says, I remember what happened to Miriam, Miriam receives merit for that. She receives benefit for that. Miriam took her mistake and she turned it into a bed, a bed of roses, an opportunity for growth. That mistake was a catalyst for great merit. May we all learn from Miriam, not just to refrain from speaking gossip and slander, but to embrace our mistakes and to view them as catalysts and potential for great merit for ourselves, to turn our mistakes into beds of roses. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Together